when we see some complex stuff like it's a machine it's a robot it's working we see on youtube we see on tv and we think that it is very difficult to make this kind of thing and people who are working behind are a very genius kind of people but at the end i through the internship through the robotics competition i learned it's all about learning as long as you are dedicated to learning new things as long as you keep your mind open you strive for excellence there's nothing you can uh, not do in this world uh, in this world you can do absolutely everything what engineers tend to do is that they uh, do all things at the last minute like even for the semesters they would uh, uh, turn their books on the last night of the preparation day and go go to the exam hall and uh, write all that stuff off but at eantra if you want to succeed if you want really want to make it to the final you need to get started early as soon as the task gets released you need to figure it out you need to open it you need to uh, complete all the stuff before the deadline so that is one thing uh, which our team did efficiently we divided our task very efficiently we submitted all the task before the deadline like a day or two before the final submission date so that's how uh, we made it to the final and if we had uh, that attitude let's do it tomorrow leave it now. so that would definitely would not have helped and we would not have been here to tell our experience when we involve ourselves in engineering projects or uh, the events given to us by our college uh, it is uh, now the scope of the project is very limited and also uh, extended learning and even if it is there there are a lot of limitations that are uh, faced by engineering projects but an event like eantra you know it forces us to push our en- envelopes we are in third year right now uh, i was the cr of my class for all the three years but being in a team where uh, you know you have to listen to someone else uh, give out their ideas where there is another leader that's uh, a totally refreshing refreshing experience so i should say uh, on not just technical because a lot of people tend to think of it only on technical terms uh, but this was a, an overall uh, development oriented uh, event for me the project helped me to think more uh, uh, out of the box and a little differently than other people it uh, kind of pushed me to do better than what i already can do and i'm a completely uh, new and uh, improved person from when i started uh, e yantra this year participate in e yantra go through your passion it will definitely bring out the best in you and don't ever think that you don't know nothing because it's all about learning and e yantra is not a competition where you are given that this is the task and you need to figure out it out on your own you are given some uh, limited resources but that are good enough for a small beginning and if you are dedicated if you are passionate about robotics if you are passionate about learning itself then you can definitely make it to the final e yantra is something uh, when you get the taste of it like when you get the task when you complete it there is a different kind of satisfaction i had the satisfaction uh, when uh, i completed some of the initial task uh, on my first attempt but the completion of those tasks itself was the motivation for me to uh, uh, participate in the second time and in the competition this year like we uh, rolled through all the tasks we completed on uh, before deadline and so the satisfaction grew so much that three of us are also in turn at yantra so that's how it works and basically it's the little achievements that uh, make make the way for you to participate and keep on participate